Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. Um, you know, I'm gonna get my day started by climbing in Ivy's cage. That's right, time to feed Ivy. Come on, big girl. And of course, we're gonna switch it up this week, and we're gonna go a little smaller with the meal. But she is a ferocious feeder when it comes to rabbits. Oh, where are you at, girl? Where are you at? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, sheesh. Come on, come on. Oh, God. Come on, girl. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, oh. Come on, girl. There ah, she is. Woo! I tell you what. That's a little intimidating, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you, when you're kind of stuck in there, I can't get out of this cage, you know? So it's gonna be a lot of adrenaline going. Regardless, I'm climbing out of here. Again, we switched up and fed a little bit of a smaller meal to her this week after eating some really big pigs and stuff like that. And I've mentioned that we're four days away from the install of the Reptarium, and I cannot wait to get Ivy in that new cage, you know? It's just gonna be so incredible to see her in a giant cage with a huge water basin. I'm anxious is to see how is she gonna act because I've always been surprised how much time she spends on land and not in the soaking in the water dish and she even climbs up on these crevices so we gave her some ledges and stuff like this in this new environment but she can also be in the water it's gonna be really wild but that's just one thing that I'm super anticipating to the expansion which again is only four days away Let's see if Jeffrey wants to eat today he certainly looks pretty interested in food come on Jeffrey there you go. <laughs> and it's not just the fact that we get the opportunity to add additional animals, which is amazing because again, learning the behavior of different things is what's so incredible about keeping animals. And in particular with the things like the reptarium, right? We got the opportunity to really look at the behavior side of things, which has been really life changing. I've said this a ton of times that literally changed my perception of how to keep animals and how to interact with animals. I mean, Honestly, I, I've been very, very, very forthcoming with this, saying that I was wrong in the past, thinking that reptiles were more simple than they actually are as far as intelligence goes. So it's cool not only to add new animals, but also an animal like Jeffrey here that's been fine in this enclosure for the last couple months, but he's getting big now. Get an opportunity to get him into a larger exhibit and see how he interacts with that new exhibit, see how he grows and stuff like that. I mean, that's what's so cool about it. Not only adding additional animals and additional species, so that we can kind of learn the ins and outs of keeping those, but also the fact that we can take animals we're already keeping them, getting them into new enclosures, and just letting them blossom into the beautiful animal ambassadors that they're becoming. Come here, Peaches. Come on, come on, silly. Ah, there it is. Of course, Peaches is that hypo Honduran milk snake. I mean, what an absolutely gorgeous animal right there. And we will be adding some more colubrids over to the Reptarium as well. In particular, we've got a bull snake, we've got some more corn snakes, a handful of other colubrids that are gonna go over there that I think are gonna just be really cool. Because really, we do have some colubrids here, some rat snakes, obviously a milk snake. We have the Mexican black king snake. We've got, of course, Peppa the hog nose snake. But we don't have enough colubrids, in my opinion. Uh, so adding something like a bull snake and a couple other animals, I think are gonna be really cool additions. I think people are going to get a real kick out of handling animals different than what we have over here. Hey Diddy, hey Dixie, what's going on guys? Hi, hi guys, you want some food? <laughs> Diddy is getting to the point now where he's almost like a Bella where I offer him food and these are little treat tortoise food from Missouri uh, and he's just more interested in pets than he is food but looks like Dixie's going to come down. Dixie, come on, come on buddy, come on, let's go, come on down, come on Dixie, come on, let's go, all the way down guy, come on, over here. Come on, buddy. Come on. There you go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, obviously, you, we, I've been talking about the fact that these guys are going to get in a huge 12-foot floor-to-ceiling enclosure. It's going to be crazy. I mean, they're going to get lost in there, to be totally honest with you. But I'm excited also that we're going to be putting on other cyclera. Now, these are rhino iguanas. They're something that's called a Cuban iguana, and they're actually Lewis Eye hybrids. And uh, they're similar to these guys, but they have a little longer snout, have some blues in them and stuff like that. So we're going to actually be adding a male Lewis Eye hybrid over to the new Reptarium expansion too. I've never worked with those guys. I've, the only cyclera that I've worked with have been the rhino iguanas. So it's going to be pretty exciting to get an enclosure over there with a the Lewis Eye. Uh, definitely a different animal. Hopefully they'll be as tame as Diddy and Dixie and Bella, but uh, it's definitely an exhibit I'm excited about, both the Diddy and Dixie one and the Lewis Eye hybrid. 
excited every time we get something to add to the new expansion. It's always exciting. My buddy Rich over at Reptile Basics sent us all our thermostats, which is really cool. Of course, these are the VE 300s by Varium. Uh, I like them. You know, there's a lot of cool things. Herp stats are really good, stuff like that. Good friends with Rich over at Reptile Basics, so he always takes care of me. So uh, I do my business with him. And so we have all our thermostats for all the new enclosures. So that is dope. One more thing to check off the list. Yo, what's your favorite podcast? man oh, that's a tough there's a lot of good ones out there i would say last Checking in. it's definitely an adult humor just for you kids out there don't go looking it up but it's about uh i know this sounds pretty psycho but it's about like different serial killers and it kind of gets in their minds and different stories but i like the way they tell the story it's pretty good Checking in. i've been talking about the uh um well bill cosby and all the uh, unfortunate incidents with that and uh, it's been very interesting. Like, I, I actually like it a lot. Checking in. It's on the left. It's entertaining. Well, like you guys see, uh, these guys all love checking in podcasts. So, obviously, it's their favorite podcast. I appreciate that, guys. <laughs> and, again, I'll put a link in the description. Pin a comment. Check out the Checking In Podcast. Don't forget the Clips channel where you can actually watch short segments of the longer podcast. Also on iTunes, Spotify, and wherever you listen to podcasts now. Casper is always fun to feed. And the reason I film it all the time is because I'll be honest with you, you never know what's gonna happen when you're feeding this guy. Woo! Oh shoot, I dropped my rat. Whoa! Whoa! Casper! Whoa, Casper, Casper, Casper! Calm down. Oh, oh. <laughs> like I said, never a dull moment. You definitely don't want to drop your rat and go down on the ground when Casper's around because he's just striking out like crazy. What an awesome animal though. Wanna give it a shot, maybe? There, you want it? I guess she doesn't care at all. <laughs> there you go, girl. Ooh. <laughs> Tell you what, she found this corner over here where she can hide it. Now she's going back there off a lot. I wasn't sure she was going to come out and actually eat, but she did. She's a great animal. And you know, as excited as I am about the reptarium, and as excited as I am about the expansion and all the new animals, I'm still super excited about stuff that I'm breeding like ball pythons. It's looking like it's going to be a really awesome year. And listen, Kelsey did an amazing job for us when she was here. And Mary has stepped up and really matched that, which is surprising because I thought it was going to take her a year two to get the hang of it she's done really well that's not to say that Kelsey isn't missed I'm just saying that Mary's doing an amazing job and it looks like we're gonna have an absolute banger of a Python breeding season oh, my little sloths we actually had the Wild Republic sales rep out for the gift shop next door and uh, he gave us a bunch of toys so uh, thank you for that uh, more sloths in my life Lori what'd you do with all my plushies well okay <laughs> Phoebe's like oh new toys literally they gave us all these plushies yeah, these are the samples, so samples. we can figure out what we want to buy. Oh my gosh, <laughs> these are all mine, right? I can sure. I can play with all these. Yeah, but not Look at these, I'm little dinosaur motorized heads. Yeah, those are for you. Oh my gosh, this is so <laughs> dope. I'm so excited. I know, Phoebe's oh going to like this one. <laughs> it's awesome. Christmas came uh, the second time this year. We're going to try to actually give Matilda a little treat for a tomato. She's never she's had a tomato. To eat, Look at how obviously. they She's like, she's so what excited. What do you think about this, girl? Huh? What do you think about that? Oh, she's gonna be able to get it. Oh, I think she likes it. Oh my gosh. Do you think that Jeff used to feed her tomatoes? I don't know. Because I she actually... was excited as soon as you put it in there. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was just talking to someone who had a tortoise that said this is one of their tortoise's favorite treats. And of course, you know, you don't want to feed them that that often. It is a fruit. Fruits aren't really great long term for these things. But as a treat once in a while, certainly not going to be a problem. And she absolutely loves it.
my girl Perdita here. Come on, sweetheart. You ready to eat? Oh, yeah, she is ready to go. Come on, little monkey. Let's go. There. Oh, you got its leg, you silly dog, you. <laughs> now, Perdita's actually going to stay here right where she's at, at least for the time being, until she gets too large for this enclosure. But I am excited that we're going to be able to bring Moo Moo, the other cow reticulated python, over there, as well as Al Machino. And the thing that was really cool when we opened up this part of the Reptarium is just learning the animals, how they were going to react differently to the way they were, the way they were going to feed, what were they going to feed on. So I'm really excited to see that transition, as well as the fact that it's going to be super cool that right now, Everybody loves to handle Perdita. Will everyone like to handle Moo Moo? Will there be new animals? Will Al Machino start to be kind of that like golden animal that everyone wants? I don't know. That's what's so cool about it. The anticipation and just kind of the dream of this thing kind of coming together. And now that we're so close, it is ridiculously exciting. Sunrise, want some food? Come on, let's go. There she is. What a beautiful animal. And again, like I've mentioned, I'm gonna move Sunrise actually over to the new place. Give her just a little bit different style cage. She's gonna have some climbing, a full floor to ceiling type of cage. It's gonna be amazing. Also, we wanna make sure that we have stuff over there that's gonna pull people to that side as well. So we wanna kinda of have some animals here, some animals there that come out all the time. Sunrise is definitely one of the most popular snakes we have here. So having her over there kind of draw people that way. Not that I think we're going to have a problem with that anyways. But again, we're going to try to disperse things over. And uh, then we'll figure something out cool for this enclosure. Guys, just take a look. All the ceilings in now. Unbelievable. It looks so good. We just had a little bit of touch up on the actual drywall that we have to go back, sand, and actually paint it just to make it look good. Obviously, we're not painting this wall because it's going to be all rocked out. Not painting that wall because there's going to be cages all along that. But the rooms themselves, the ceilings are all done. It's getting so close. Like I'd mentioned, four days away from install. And we are right there. I think we're going to make it. I think it's not going to be too stressful. Uh, fingers crossed. Anyway, still keeping an eye on that weather. And if everything goes well, guys, like I had mentioned, March 13th, that's right, Friday the 13th, March 13th will be the opening day. It's a Friday, and then we'll have an after party Friday. We'll also have a big event on Saturday and an after party Saturday if you guys can't make it on a Friday. But if you want to plan and come see the new Reptarium, everything wide open, please come that weekend. It's going to be an absolute incredible time. And like I mentioned earlier, you know, these animals always act a little bit differently, right? And Snaz actually went on that big long hunger strike that for a long time he didn't want to eat and then we had to kind of figure out how to get him going again one of the things he absolutely loves is little frozen rabbits you know he didn't seem to be as interested in eating rats although my friend Rhonda fed him rats often so it was kind of weird that he came here he kind of changed his whole mentality now that we've got him figured out he is crushing it back to working on the stands for the enclosures upstairs so again we have to elevate them 11 inches so that they're kind of set and stuff like that so uh, I think I have maybe four more more cages to do so we're getting close to being done with that and then that's another thing that we can check off our list Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Literally, you guys change my life every single day and I love you so much. Can you do me a favor? If you enjoyed this video, can you subscribe to my new podcast channel? Right here, you can hit that and subscribe to it. Over here, you can run through a playlist of a bunch of cool vlogs. On this side, you can subscribe to the vlog channel if you so choose. Turn the post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. You better be kind to someone. I promise I'll see you guys tomorrow.